before sitting down to film this, I actually put a whole list together. I was working on this probably for a few weeks, trying to, you know, really optimize what would be the best fragrances for fall and for winter. And then what I ended up doing, I just totally won it. I looked at my cabinet, cabinets in rooms and trays, m multiples of them. And I was like, what am I really excited to wear? this fall. Now that it's finally starting to cool down, fall is my absolute favorite. Everybody says that, but it's really my favorite. I love the cool weather. I love the cloudy skies. It makes me feel alive. There's probably something psychologically wrong with me because that is the weather that I thrive in. Here are the fragrances that I personally am just the most pumped to wear now that it's getting cooler. I didn't split these up into fall and winter as I was initially planning to. There are some like transitional scents, some that are more like fall-y, and then some that are more for like the real like cold, cold biting weather. I'm in Canada, it's cold. So yeah, if you wanna see what I am personally the most excited to wear this fall and winter and generally cold weather, then stick around. If you're new, my name is Yana. This is The Scented. We do all the fun fragrance things. Subscribe and we will do all of the things together. Let's jump in. I kind of gave you guys a little sneak peek over here. The first one that I actually have been wearing a lot and I did not wear all of this. Uh, this has been insanely popular on my decant shop, thescented.ca. This is Khalil Tea Kryptonite. This is a beautiful powdery almondy scent. It is incredibly elegant. This did really well throughout the summer so I was debating whether or not to put it here but I'm pumped to wear it all the time now. The scent is powdery. It's straight up like powdery, almondy, and lotion-like. There are a lot of woody facets in here and just like a little hint of sweetness in the background. I love how this goes on clothing. When it dries down on clothing, it leaves a magical aura and a huge scent bubble too. And you walk by and you're just like, what is this magical scent that I'm smelling? And it's this. It is the perfect like professional scenario scent. It's a perfect daily wear, but it's still like potent. It's ever present. Like you will smell this all day. And it's so great for me for like the gloomier, cooler weather with clouds. It's not the typical type of scent that I would go for in cloudy weather. It's not earthy. It's not um, dark at all. It's kind of cloudy, kind of foggy and uh, super classy. So. That one is probably my favorite, one of my favorite new discoveries so far. Armani Code is an oldie, but a goodie. This one has been with me for years and years, and I always find myself reaching for this in the cooler weather. It is one of the more vanilla-centric designer scents that I enjoy. I'm not known to love vanilla, but there are a few that like, when I love it, I really love it. And this is one that has orange blossom, there's some jasmine in here and it creates a very unique scent. Like, you know Armani Code when you're smelling it. There's a hook to it. I always call it a hook when a fragrance has this distinct characteristic that you could always pinpoint it. And this fragrance has it. And now that it's started to cool down, I also have the lotion and the body wash. I love to use the whole collection and just, just smell it on my robe, on myself. It's a very soothing and very sexy scent. I like this as a date scent. I like this as like a, a fall dinner date, you know, a little bit casual. It's not like uppity or anything. It's just, it's easy. It smells amazing, very sexy and pretty simplistic, but I think they might be actually discontinuing this. I was looking to get another bottle and I went on the Armani Beauty website and it's in, in the last chance section. So if I have this video out in time, go look because it's like $50 off. Here's a cheapie and these are more of my transitional scents, but when it really gets to like proper fall weather, like, you know, Thanksgiving vibes, orange leaves, like that real, like the epitome of fall, I love Rich Worm Addictive from Zara. This is a men's fragrance, super affordable and super good. The one that I have is the 2018. It's the one with the vanilla peony and rum. This to me almost smells like sweet coffee. Like it almost smells like a like frappuccino, like a vanilla frappuccino or something. It's really yummy. There's also hints of spiciness in here that are not listed, but just that make it so delectable. This is probably one of the only gourmands that I like at my core really, really love. It's 
it's sweet but not overly sweet it's got something interesting about it and it's so cozy it's fuzzy like i want to spray it on my sweater and just like it gives me all the feels it's so nice in that cooler weather so as a cheapie for me like this is a die hard like forever love that will always be in my collection that i as soon as the cold weather hits this is what i'm grabbing and on the note of vanillas gutal nuit et confidence the little pom-pom guys they are all so beautiful but Nuit Confidence has been my recent love. It is probably the most easy kind of casual grab and go that works the best as a daily wear for me and it's an incense vanilla scent. This also smells a lot like Great Wolf Lodge Lobby. I don't know if it's the same everywhere but I went this summer and the lobby at the one in Niagara Falls in Canada, it smells like this. It smells exactly like this i thought at first when i walked in that somebody had sprayed this and then of course you realize as you stay there a couple days that that's just what they have wafting through the air and it, it's really really nice it was like a weird scent to have there because of like the water park and whatever but it's a cozy vibe so i get it and this smells very upscale very elegant this is another one for me that is like um a dinner date situation maybe a little bit more elegant like now you're a little bit more of a bougie restaurant than with the Armani code this is a dry um, type of vanilla there's black pepper in here as well which is really really nice I don't like a sweet kind of vanilla for example vanilla 20 from Kayali is the type of vanilla that I don't generally gravitate towards but this this and Dama Bianca by the way from Zerzhoff is also very very similar both amazing even the if you wanted to go for a budget alternative the sol de janeiro the number 40 smells quite a lot like this really really nice and there's a more affordable one from al haramain called janu noir that has a very similar scent profile too so you don't necessarily need to spend like whatever however much this costs 200 dollars to smell like that now I was gonna talk about Coco Noir, but Coco Noir I wear like all the time, even throughout the summer on cooler evenings and obviously during being in the house with AC. But Chanel Chance EDP, that's the one that I always grab in the winter. This has a deep kind of woody dry patchouli scent. Very simplistic, again, very elegant. A lot of my choices are kind of elegant simplicity, I guess. I don't like things that are too complicated. This makes me feel safe and comfortable. I like it. It's not trying too hard. It's a beautiful scent. I do think now that I prefer the EDP. The EDT is really nice as well. That one's a little bit more fruity and this one's a bit more deep, rich, warm type of um, patchouli scent, but it is not like a dirty patchouli. This is a dry, woody patchouli. That's the dominant scent. This is also one of the easier ones from Chanel to get on board. Like if you feel Chanel's just not your vibe, it's not the DNA that you enjoy and you think they might be outdated, this one's pretty good. Like I have a good friend who wore this through her 20s and I think even in high school and I see that totally working. And the cold weather is also when I grab my cubes. My Narciso cubes, predominantly Narciso Poudre. It's my favorite. It's the sweetest of them. I used to love the white cube, but it, it, it's a little bit more headache inducing. This is a sweet powdery scent. There's, there's some white florals in here. There's some jasmine. There's orange blossom. You get like a fluffy tonka bean too. There's vetiver. Don't be scared of vetiver. I don't smell it at all. Vetiver is a note that I don't always get along with. I see it in the note breakdown and it spooks me a little bit because I'm like, oh, is it going to like it go in that like vetiver heavy direction? And this one, I don't smell it at all. So I don't know what it's doing there, but it's not causing any trouble. It's really just a sweet, fluffy, cloudy musk. Very mom-like. I'm a mom. So for me, this is just a, like, this is what I would have wanted for my mom. You know what I mean? Just this like comfort. And it's beautiful. I love this in the cold because it is a heavier scent. I can't really wear this throughout the summer. It gets a bit stuffy. But as soon as the cold air comes through, it's perfect. Now this guy I just picked up a little while ago. I was so excited. I got it a bit on sale. And I had, I had this on my wish list for so long. This is the best of all time rose amber patchouli scent. It's the best. There is like... There's no other rose amber patchouli scent that just tickles me this way. Maybe the other one would have been like Midnight Poison from Dior. They're not similar scents, but they kind of give you 
the same vibe, the same feeling. Um, I, I love this. I think it's perfectly unisex. It's super sexy on guys too. The whole Dior Privé collection is amazing. I can review that for you guys one day. I have smelt the majority of them. So let me know in the comments if that's something that you want to see. But yeah, I didn't even say. I was so excited. This is um, Dior Ombre Nuit. And you guys can sample this too on the scented.ca. I have it available. Oh, here's a new one. Faces of Francis from Wilhelm. This is a really interesting house that's really hit or miss for me. This is a huge hit. I was super excited about this one with the anticipated release. It has a nuttiness, but it also has aldehydes, which make it sort of soapy clean in the opening. And then there's saffron. It's deep, rich, like multifaceted. There's like saltiness about this and the nuttiness that's in here, it is pistachio. It is a, it's a rich, warm scent with a juxtaposition of aldehydes that kind of lifts it up, make it soapy and clean. I think this is quite easy. This is one of the easiest ones from their lineup. It dries down nicely on my skin too. There's no like harsh chemicals or anything that I can spot, which is always a worry for me because if you guys know me, I, especially with some of the newer releases, I'm just dying with that aroma chemical that they're putting in there. This chemical, it's like a dry woody ambery scent a lot of fragrances have them i've been talking about it a lot and i worry a lot of the times new releases especially when they note ambergris or any kind of ambery notes i get a little bit worried um this one's fine so we're we're good we're good to go we're friends and very complex like unusual scent very much for the cooler weather so you guys if you wanted to check this out it is available on twisted lily i have a code it's scented 10 all my codes are in the description i put this one away for the summer but oh man i love this it is my favorite it's like it is really my favorite to wear in the fall and winter it is exactly what i want from like a ambery resinous patchouli scent this is just the right amount sweet it's just it's so sexy it has a little bit of like a sweet jasmine vibe to it. Delicious, like rich myrrh. Vanilla is very, very dominant. This is a sweet vanilla, but it has a lot, a lot of other notes in there that just really vibe with me. I, I just love this. I feel so good in this. There, there's a tiny bit of rose. It doesn't really come through much. Man, I, I have not smelled a fragrance that makes me feel like this in a really long time. I found a similar fragrance. It's called Midnight 07 from Lake and Sky. That's a clean scent. I like that one a lot too, but I think this one's a little bit sweeter and a little bit more feminine. But anyway, they're both good. Here is a new discovery that I have been spraying on everything. This is from Experimental Perfume Club and it's Moss and Cardamom. And they have quite simplistic profiles from their standard collection so they're meant for layering uh super cool bottle too very long not sure how practical but i like it this smells like a sweet like very sweet cardamom exactly like if you were to take a cardamom pod it's mostly cardamom that like there's not that much moss in here it's really it's like a true cardamom scent you can really like you can frank's hot sauce this and like just put it on everything and it makes pretty much everything way better I love it. I love cardamom as a note in general. I like it in men's fragrances. I think this would add a lot of oomph to a lot of men's fragrances, but it's beautiful on its own. I'm crazy about this. It's it's like simple, but it's oh, it's addictive. It's so unique. I just want to like keep opening and sniffing it. The good thing is the cap doesn't click so I can just keep doing this while I'm talking to you and I hope it's not that annoying. It probably is annoying. So many of you guys tell me to stop shaking the bottles around, but guess what? I'm not going to because that's just what my hands do by themselves. Uh, then we have Unui Nomad Click Song. Like this one I talked about with my man in this video here and it's one of his favorite fragrances for men. I actually wear this too and it goes sweeter on my skin. And this does have a very antique -y vibe. It smells like kind of antique wood, like the way he described it. it was like if you were to open like an old chest, like a treasure chest and you get this like old kind of woody, dusty smell. It smells antique -y, but in a very, very good way. It also has... A patchouli note in here if you like Coromandel from Chanel I think you would like this um, if you like Lord of Misrule which is coming up soon you would like this is a lot less sweet though a lot less sweet and more antique vibes but this is the idea it's an ambery scent with some leather facets like from labdanum it's not real leather so there's no like real sharp animalics in here 
Although you get it's like almost a little bit of a stink, like a little bit of an animalic stink when you first spray it, but it goes away so quick. And then it really does depend on your skin chemistry. On me, it goes more sweet and vanillic. And on him, it goes a lot more in the dry, woody, kind of antique patchouli direction, which actually is super sexy on a guy. So yeah, this is a like a deep fall winter scent. As we move along, they're getting like more deep, rich, like really in there for the winter. Okay, here's one. This has been on my wish list for a while. And uh, then it got sold out on Fragrance Buy and I couldn't find it anywhere. And then, So Avant-Garde hooked me up. This smells like a, it has classic touches. To me, it smells like a fragrance that would have been made for like royalty, like back in the day, but not like old smelling, you know, like don't think like old school, outdated. This is just it smells very regal and very classic. It's called Cor Gentile from Vicanto. And so there's carnation in here and there's a note of camellia uh, and suede. Suede or leather? It smells, it smells more like suede to me. I had been on the hunt for camellia fragrance after there was a lotion that I loved from the body shop that got discontinued, which was like my favorite body lotion. But anyway, that put me on the note of camellia and then that was on my radar and I found a couple fragrances. This is such a unique scent. This, I promise you, you have not smelled anything like this ever. It's it's weird. It's cool. It's I can't say that it's sexy, but it's very intriguing. But my man loved it when I sprayed this on and it's potent. That's the other thing too. It is so strong. I did, I think, four or five sprays initially and I, I may have overdone it because it was very, very, very strong. And I had to go for a walk and like air it out totally for the cooler weather because of how potent it is, just that it's like so concentrated and deep. And the carnation, it's like a spicy kind of floral. And then there's a lot of sweetness in here, like a resinous sweetness. So like, I guess like myrrh, and then myrrh, myrrh is in here. Myrrh is one of my favorite notes. So I have the combo of like all my favorite notes. There's musk, there's camellia, which I learned that I love from that lotion. There's leather, to me it smells more suede and myrrh. I'm gonna be wearing this a lot. Like, I'm so excited to wear this in the cold weather. This one, you also can get 20 off from So Avant-Garde. We have, well, I just talked about it, Lord of Misrule. This is from Lush. I picked this up last year. I had been sleeping on this for years and years and years. This is just, oh, it's like a syrupy, like if patchouli was a syrup. Like, this is patchouli syrup, basically. It's vanilla patchouli and black pepper. It's very soothing. It's almost like it smells therapeutic. It's very deep. It's actually, because everything is made with like essential as a natural ingredients, even though it is so deep and potent and rich, it doesn't put me off at all. Like I can spray this easily at night and I find this like such a comforting, soothing scent. They come out with the whole body care line as I learned around Christmas time. So I'm gonna be getting like the whole shebang. And then we have Commodity Whiskey. These guys recently redid the packaging and had a massive sale. And so the packaging is gonna start looking different when you guys are seeing the newer bottles, but this is the old bottle. The, I don't know why they blocked out whiskey, but it, it's whiskey and it smells like barrels. It smells like oak barrels, like rich, warm wood soaked in booze, but you don't get the actual booze. You just get that boozy wood. Of course, there's vanilla. You can really smell the vanilla with those like woody, oaky barrels. And there's some powderiness, which lifts it up and makes it fem feminine. It's like a sweet kind of powderiness in here. I can easily wear this and I do. I wore this all of last fall and winter and now my hubby's trying to snatch it away. So we're sharing it, but this is one of the best from the whole commodity range that I personally wear a ton. Here's a new one for me that was not for the warm weather, but I, I tried wearing it in the warm weather and I was like, I have to wait for the cold. It's amazing, but it's very, very rich. And it's called Black Dragon from Byron. So this one and Green Butterfly, those are my favorite ones from Byron. And this is a similar type of vanilla, like in um, Nuit Confidence from Gutal. This also has mango and honey. And it's like, this is the one that I'm gonna spray. Even though on skin, it comes out so different than on paper. <sighs> I was worried about the honey and the mango. Those are notes that to me tell me this is a gourmand fragrance. And it is a gourmand fragrance, but there's enough smokiness in here 
there's enough of like woody antique vibes about it that it balances it out. It's very alluring. Like it smells almost a little bit edgy, but not like edgy in a off-putting way at all. Just a just intriguing and unusual. And I really like this and it's not sticky. It is not overly sweet. Like for somebody like myself who is just a self-proclaimed gourmand hater, it's totally a vibe for me, but it has to be cold weather. I bet you guys never thought you'd see this on one of my lists. I have Italica from Zerjoff. This is mouthwatering. I already, I feel like I'm about to drool, like as soon as I smell this. This is almond syrup. It is so delicious. It is milky and it almost smells as if there's cherry in here. Almond sometimes gives that vibe, but it's like a, okay, take marzipan and now mix it up with a whole bunch of condensed milk. You have Italica. And then maybe like you just also had a couple black cherries and somewhere earlier in the day and like maybe you're just still tasting them a little bit. I don't get the saffron. I remember there's saffron being in here, but no, I don't, I don't smell it. But this is definitely for like one of my days where like, this is as like gourmand as I could possibly ever go. And I really, I really like this one. So there you have it. And then in the complete opposite direction, we're gonna end off with Black Afghano. This is for like cold, cold winter days. Well, they're both for very cold winter days, but this is like a stormy winter day. This is a cannabis fragrance. I've been really vibing with cannabis fragrances lately. Maybe I'll film my favorite cannabis fragrances after this video. You wouldn't peg me for a stoner, and I'm not, but I, I don't mind the, the smell. This is a smoky kind of tobacco cannabis. It's like a dark green. Like think of like not fresh cut grass kind of green, but like a kind of a, just like buds, right? Like it kind of smells like that. There's incense, there's oud in here. The oud is pretty soft. It's like a velvety oud. It's not an animalic like barnyard oud. It works with this whole composition. I was afraid before I even explored this fragrance that it would be like a kind of like a sticky gross scent, but it's not. It's like, it's kind of like dry um, woody. And I think that the packaging represents it really well. And the cap is kind of like this dry woody, almost like, charcoal burnt looking thing and that that really works with it like the feeling of charcoal is like something that i get in here as well i, I love this this is probably a little bit more masculine but something i could easily get down with especially on like a cold stormy day so i can't wait to wear this i'm really really excited i also feel like really special wearing this i would feel super edgy and it's it's about the feeling really i think in the end is like you wear the stuff that makes you feel good. So this is the stuff that makes me feel the best. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are going to be wearing this fall, winter, plus the transition. I, I want to hear it all. This is my favorite season. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this super lengthy video. I did not do 10. I don't know how many I did. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.